And this one is our Discord pick of the week. And I think it's for a good reason because there's a lot to like about this game. First of all, the artwork looks amazing, but it also has a few really interesting elements. And I'll get back to the most interesting one at the very end. And this one's a cooperative campaign game where players are playing as a tribe of people living in a remote glacial valley full of harsh conditions and deadly monsters. And something that makes this one really interesting is that each game session that you play is representing a new generation passing. And the player's decisions and their effects on the valley and the surrounding area will be inherited by the following generations. And each character is going to have their own stats and health and energy and characters can grow old and die but they can also die without growing old. And in order to win the game, each scenario is going to have certain objectives that the players are trying to fulfill as they alternate between a day phase and a night phase. And the day phase is where players will be taking the majority of their actions, but their whole goal here is to explore the different terrain, which each offer different areas that you can interact with to do different things like fishing, hunting, mining, or foraging, with each of them coming with their own unique minigame. Of course, there's a few other things that you might discover as well, but essentially players are using this phase to gather water and food and different resources. And the night phase is where players will be able to use the resources that they collected to eat, drink, and heal their wounds. And if you're able to pull together a campfire in this phase, you'll also get different bonuses and other actions available to you. And this is also the point in the game that has my favorite mechanism. I'm a huge fan of the survival theme and trying to pull different things together to try and create something useful. And I think the way that this game does its crafting is possibly the best I've ever seen, and it's one of the reasons that this one is my own personal pick of the week. And I think it's going to do a really great job capturing that feeling of players trying to do the best with what they have, both by combining different resources together to create outcomes that are really predictable, for example, a stone and a stick, but then also by allowing players to get creative by introducing other elements into that mix or combining things together that they're not sure exactly what they can create with it, but sometimes you just have to try. And the way that the system works is that each of your resources are going to come in the form of a token, and then each of those tokens are going to have a series of different icons around them. And players will take their tokens and pair those icons together in order to create a pattern of icons. And you can do this with any of your tokens as long as you're matching those icons, but when you do, you're going to be taking those icons and creating a bit of a lookup key. Because all you have to do is grab the crafting book provided by this game, and then look up that combination of icons in the booklet, and it's going to tell you which item you create and each of those items will have an associated card with it and you'll just have to go and grab that card. And these tools that you'll be building are going to be super important for building up a community and putting the best foot forward for your following generations. But there's one more thing that does happen in the night phase and that is the drawing of a night event for each of the characters. And these are usually not a good thing and can require different skill checks or challenges to be completed by the players. But those aren't the only events in the game because there's also an activity track that's going to be increasing throughout the game and when that activity track hits certain milestones it's going to be triggering a specific event for that scenario. Scenario. And this can be good or bad presenting opportunities or affecting some or all of the characters. But this also works as a bit of a timer because if players want to win the scenario they have to complete all their objectives before that activity track reaches its end. And as always if you want to know more I do have links in the description below where you can go ahead and check out the campaign page or if it hasn't launched yet you can click to get notified.